को नाचि आगे हो कि अथवा तब बीच में सीक्न भाई हो कि अथवा तस्त नाच आने जो हम जैसे गंधर्व को कति पुरानी The Nepali dancers are very virtuosic in the rhythms they hold within themselves. Uh, it's incredible. Nepali words. I learned some yesterday. Um, let's see. There's. They do this. Baya and daya. Baya is left. Daya is right. Uh, kun is arm. Namaste. It's their greeting. I was charged with um, locating a dance company to collaborate with on a project that would be presented at BAM. We worked with the Brenda Angel's uh, aerial company, also did a workshop with them, uh, harnessed up for three hours and flew. The first contact I had was Doug uh, sent me a, a Facebook message that he was coming with a company and that he's willing to share a class together and I thought that would be fabulous. They came to my studio and all his dancers were on the ropes and harness and we also took a class from him. I was sore for 15 days after. <laughs> the thrust of her work in the air that reminded me of a lot, a lot of the large group works that I do. Uh, and I was curious to see what dialogue we could have uh, if we were to, able to meet in the middle somehow. Algeria was incredible because we were connected with this group called the Onsi Dancers. Um, and they were a folk folkloric dance company um, that we started the first couple of days working with. After we'd been there two or three days, we learned that the former president of uh, Algeria had passed away. So that put a total change into the process of what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to go to Iran and give workshops. We were supposed to go outside the city and give workshops to the, the famous um, hip hop group there in Algeria. All that got canceled because of there was an eight day um, stipulation of mourning. We, we just asked them, show us, show us what your dance is about. And then they started teaching my dancers their folkloric dance. And then we thought, well, let's make a, a piece that we would show them our dance, their, their dance would be incorporated in this piece, and we called it the fusion dance. In Sri Lanka, the part that was important, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of the experience there, was a workshop that we did with the two major ethnic groups, the, the Tamal and the uh, Sinhalese. And before we, we got there, the, the, 
the embassy there said that part of their mission or their goal or what they, they wanted to accomplish in general as a post there was to do something to, to, to help foster in some way reconciliation between the, the two groups. That's what they really wanted to do. And so one of the things they suggested is that we do a workshop with both the groups in the same room. I made a fusion dance that was made up of the two forms from uh, Sri Lanka and my style of American contemporary dance, and we made this dance, and then it was performed, and I say we, because it really was a collaborative experience. We performed this dance at this event, and it was so hugely successful. I mean, I loved watching it, to be honest with you. I was having such fun. I go, wow, that's so cool.